God damn it, that took too long. Hey guys, what's up? Scottish Duck here once again, and we are here today playing Clockwork Knight Pepperachua's Adventure. And we will be referring to Pepperachua as uh, Pepper from now on, which is his nickname. So yeah, because his name is too goddamn long. Anyway, now put in the options first. Right, we're gonna put this to maximum life as a for LP purposes and just to sync the audio. Four. Five. Six. Okay, that'll do. Alright, we'll keep it on normal. I'm not that much of a pussy. And I just pressed C to confirm that there. Did that cancel it at all? Oh crap, I pressed that. Oh well, we'll find out in a bit, I suppose. Right, this be a two and a half D platformer for the Sega Saturn, and yeah, it came out before Toy Story. I'm just saying. All right, M music is catchy as hell as well. All right, controls are pretty basic. You've got like a uh, it shows a lot like Mario, actually, because you can uh, pick stuff up using the uh, attack button as well. You know what I'm saying? And we have invincibility power! And I'm not sure what these clocks do. Oh, they give you more time, that's it. That makes sense. Now, oh, fuck you. Yeah, but we attack things with our key because he's a clockwork knight that likes to thingy stuff. And we open things and go in here, which is a bonus level. My bob. Well, not bonus level. More like a shortcut, I think, is it? <laughs> I don't know. I've only bet this game once. Well, I've played it numerous times, but yeah, I think that was a shortcut. Wow, clockwork a go go. But uh, he attacks things with his key, and I don't want to hear any Keyblade references in the fucking comments. Okay. Alright. Pop, pop. What are these things? Balloons? Oh, well, pencils to indicate spikes. How original. Controls are pretty damn tight. Okay. Ball caps are just for points, I believe. And the clock work, the gears at the bottom, indicate our health. Oh shit. I saw that coming. So why did I let it hit me? Yeah, this is it taking advantage of the 2.5 Dness. So yeah, admittingly it's not as good as Klonoa or something. Oh god, long jump. Oh. Well, it's not a long jump, you just gotta hit the corresponding letter in the hopes to get some extra lives. The game has infinite continues, I believe, but you gotta start all the way back at the beginning of a world, I think. And let's hope for the love of god that doesn't happen during this Let's Play. I think I should be able to beat it in two hours. If not, I'll just have to stop it and record again, because there's no save feature. Which is a bit of a bummer when you think about it. Because you all know how much I suck. No, I don't want to walk, I want to run. Oh wait, wait, did you just take away that friggin' football? Oh, damn it. No, I don't like you. Haha. <laughs> Monster race car. Ooh, it broke in two. Seriously, are these balloons or something? You know, I usually hate games, you know, like, maybe platformers or that, that have a time distance to it, but 
it kind of makes sense here. Because Pepper is a clockwork knight. He can't last forever, who's gonna wind them up? It'd be like trying to reach a really hard... Uh, an itch on your back that you just can't reach, you know what I'm saying? You don't know what I'm saying. Wait, hold on, don't you press... Can't you press B and... Isn't there a move? Oh yeah, you tap. Okay, that's it. Yeah, I'm not sure that really does anything, apart from just make him look... Yeah. Alright, how do we do this? Uh... Mm, I think I failed. More than likely. Ah oh, well, it's just invincibility. Who needs invincibility? But I do want that bit of health, even though we don't really need it. Boxing gloves. 